Well, folks, here we are again at 316 Automotive. There I am. And what we're doing is, as you can see, I've got a brace kit here from PFS Parts Limited. It is a uh, steering rack brace. You can see the part that goes in the firewall, the part that uh, the brace that goes between the hardware and the instructions here. And what I'm talking about is on the 9.3, come around here, you see the steering rack right down here. And when you're, the car has, it, it's gonna, this is gonna, this kit is gonna stiffen up um, the steering rack quite a bit. This is a rubber uh, mount right here, and there's quite a bit of movement this thing moves back and forth like this when you're turning the wheel, especially under acceleration when you got the power on it. And it's really no good for, um, for any spirited driving. And so what I'm going to do is remove all this, this thing, remove the rubber, remove this clamp, and we're going to put that brace in there. And I'm going to show you real quick here. There's the brace how this is going to go. Imagine the aluminum, the aluminum piece in here already. And so this would go just like that, pretty much like that to stop this thing from moving around, from moving side to side. And it's going to stiffen up the steering and the handling quite a bit. You've seen these things, and it, it prevents firewall cracking. Hopefully the firewall, you know, if you get to this, your firewall is not cracked. If it's not cracked, then that's great. It's a problem on these sobs. And so, yeah, you know, you deal with it. And this is for the, um, the American spec, so the steering wheels on the left-hand side. You can also get these kits from PFS Saab. There are other... There are other manufacturers that make them uh, for the for the American spec cars as well as the uh, British spec cars, which the steering wheel is on the right hand side, and you'll just get an opposite hand kit. Um, let's see, Abbott Racing makes one, um, GenuineSob.com makes one. They're in Springfield, Missouri. Abbott is in Britain somewhere. This is PFS Parts, and it came from Britain, and it just took just a little over a week to get here. No big deal. So I'll, uh, I'll let you know how it goes and, and what we've got to do to get there. Thanks. Okay, here's the old one. That big rubber mount I told you about. Two fasteners, the U-clamp. There's the new one there, so you can compare. And I'll show you... There's where the old one went, right down in here. There's a bolt right where my finger is, so there's a nut on the other side of the firewall. And then on the bottom side, it's opposite. There is, there is a bolt sticking out of the firewall, a stud, and it is, that's what you're gonna have to use. So we've got, you've got both. So FYI, can I get this stuff off? There's a wire harness clamp on it. I'll get that off and then we'll get the new stuff on there. And the new one, if you can see, you can't really see here, but where my finger is tapping is a plastic rivet for this, this, uh, the steering gator that goes through the firewall here. You can see my hand go all the way through. That gets removed and the other end of the brace gets put on there with a nut and a bolt. So, back with more later. Okay, there's the first part in and you do the, uh, the large hole goes on the bottom. You'll see, let me go over here. You see you got a, a large hole and a small hole. Small hole goes on top, large hole goes on the bottom over the stud. And then when it's all done, this is going to be your nut going through it. So a large hole goes in the bottom, 
And what you do, you have it sideways, you know, inboard, outboard, with the large hole right there underneath it. And you fit that over the stud, and then you kind of force this baby forward, and you can maneuver and swing this about the stud. You can swing it up through here and right to the position where it's at and that'll work just fine. So go ahead and do that. There's gonna be some fettling. You might even say a few bad words. Uh, welcome to mechanics. Okay, more fettling. The instructions say to take that gator right there and it's tough to you see where I cut it away right there? Cut away that gator so that the you can have metal to metal on there. And this is how it looks uh, loosely held in there. So more work to go. And you gotta drill out this hole in the, uh, in the fender well. Move the light. You gotta drill out that hole uh, to a, um, Eight millimeter, so which is yeah five sixteenths. So that's what I'm gonna do. And of course, you need a tire to be gone for that. Let me get it here because you can see it right up there. The one with no plastic stud through it. So on we go. Okay, and here's the finished product sidewall or the shock tower right there and the firewall right there and it's all tightened up ready to go for a spin okay we'll see how she works I'll let you know later Okay, after the uh, test drive, this the steering brace is very solid. This thing gets rid of the torque steer. It's unbelievable. You got in, you go into a corner and you got the power on, and the steering was getting jiggy. With this thing, the brace in there, it is rock solid through the corner. So. I'm counting this a success. All right, more to do on the car, probably the top next. I'll talk at you later and do another video about that. See ya.